Hi, we are going to continue to customize our theme. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. This is what our website looks like right now, which is really cool. But we want to add a background image to it. So we can actually do it at do it here, okay? Which can be assessed from the dashboard appearance, um, header, or background, okay? So let's click on background. Actually, you come back at the same place, isn't it? Okay. So we want to create a background image. To do that, we are going to go back to the free or freedownloads.com. We are going to search for T public domain. And we found an image that looks like this, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to click on that. Again, we want to download the original, which is huge, not this small little thing. Okay. So we need our original file. So let's do that. And we want to copy the file to CTEM, my WordPress, raw images. I'm going to drag it here. Okay. This file is huge. This file is 8 megabytes. Okay. So we need to do a little bit of work um, before we can use it as a background image. We can do it in fireworks, but you can also do it at the WordPress admin dashboard. Okay. So I'm going to do it there because let's say I'm a little bit lazy. I don't want to do it in fireworks. I want to edit it there. I can actually so I the image, and I want to upload file. Drag this huge file there. It takes a while to upload. You need to be very patient. If you don't want to wait, probably you should edit it in Fireworks and make it smaller. But um, since I'm showing you this, we are just going to wait. Okay. So the file is there. And you probably don't want to use a 8 megabytes background image that will make your website very slow to load. So I'm going to edit the image and I'm going to scale the image. To 2000. Say I'm going to scale. And I'm going to update. So we ch change the um, image size. The, so the file size now is one megabyte instead of eight. So that's quite an achievement. So now let's go back to our, uh, let's, let's close this. Let's go back to our background image, Oops. Background, background, and the background image, I want to select image again. I want to choose this one megabyte image, not the eight megabytes. Let's say choose. And you can play with the background repeat. Says, let's say I want no repeat. You can play with the position. So let's say stay with the left. Let's save and publish, see what it looks like. So you have a background image. And it looks like this, okay? So let's say I want to say, fixed. So 
So now the background image is fixed. And if you say you want it to be center background position, it looks like this. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you have a small a background image of relatively small size. It's still pretty big, but it's relatively big, small. No repeats, center and fixed. Okay, so we finish the um, we finish the background image. That is a good place to stop.